Thank you, buddy. We gotta put the table down? Yeah, Let's move the mic. Um, come down a little more. Come on. That's good. Mm. All right. You can pick this up and put it on the table? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Let's... you get the top, I get the button. The bottom. Does this top and the bottom? Yeah, I do. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> hold up, hold up. <laughs> it's pretty good. Get both handles. And then you're going to grab the side? Grab both handles. Okay. Let's go. I'm pick it up and then I push it. All right. So pick it up and then I push you it up. You push it? Okay. You push it in the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I hope you don't break the table. Yeah. So are we putting the other one on? No, it's gonna break the table. Well, no. We need the other one, right? No, it's gonna break the table. You're gonna break the table. That's not my fault. And if you <laughs> do that, okay, we're not gonna we're not gonna load the other one up there. Yeah. We're, it's, it's already gonna, kind of stretching out the table. It's gonna flip over the. Look at that, table. dude. Yeah. Okay. So. They can't even see you, dude. They can't even see you. You gotta go on the other side. So Echo Flow did send us both of these batteries to do some testing and try them out for, this is like a whole home backup type deal where you can run, there's a dual volt. Oh, we forgot the dual voltage hub, bro. Hold on. One second. Did you review them already? What? Did you review them? No. You should have been reviewing them while I was going. Oh, I was just sitting there. Oh. So, we got to get the other parts and pieces. Yes. Everybody loves an exciting three-prong cable. We got this for... F Do I tell them? What? Do I tell them? We already said that. Yeah, we did get it for free. Yeah. But they did not pay us for this review because we don't really do that. I don't, I don't know if we've, I don't think we've maybe done that any paid reviews yet, which is kind of cool. I don't really like doing those paid reviews. Too much mess with that. So these are pretty big batteries. Look at this and look at this plug. Is it cool and stuff? It is cool and, it cool and stuff. Okay. So. I'm going to do the review on it. Um, you probably don't need, you can probably get bored with it. Yeah. So let's just push this out the way. Now, of course, if you're interested, as always, in this system, or you're more information on it, or is it right for you? They do have some other products to kind of go with this, like the car charger and everything to charge these quickly. And you can find all those links down below, as always, in the description of the video. So they do have this dual voltage power hub that they did send us and what that means of course in the residential us we have a split phase system where you've got 120 volts in one phase and 120 volts in the other phase and some for appliances like stoves ovens electric dryers etc puts those together and makes 240 volts now the way you have to do that in the us is you need to put both batteries together and it kind of changes the phase. I'm assuming that's what happens in this box. And that way you do get that 240 volts. And I will be showing, I tried and do this on a power inlet for like say a gas generator. This is gonna do that same thing where you can connect it up. Of course, you just don't have all that noise of that you know gas generator running. But of course, you didn't get that lower runtime, and it's not as easy just to go fill it back up. Now, the other little accessories they do send with it, they do send a charger for the little cigarette lighter charger for doing like in a vehicle or whatnot. You bring this camping or whatever. Everybody's familiar with these, except for, yeah, this is your little standard three prong little power plug that you see on a power supply on a computer or a monitor. The only thing they do is this is a larger gauge. And if you know, don't get it mixed up because yeah, if you're charging this at high rates, 
This does charge up to 1800 watts AC. Now you can dial that back if you watched my previous video on that little Sonoff Zigbee Mini Relay. I used one of these to test it and to get the exact wattage I wanted, which is kind of cool. So and you can dial that back, have slower charging, or if you're using a circuit that doesn't have a lot of capacity or has a lot of stuff on it, you can slow that down. Now they do send it with this cable with the dual power hub. And that plugs into the inlet. Again, I'll show that and everything. Um, I'm just gonna show the front of this thing whenever we use it outside. It is a pretty big battery for me to, you know, show on the table and whatnot, but it's a pretty cool system. So uh, let's get to it. So in the little charging test, I still got the little 200 watt, it was a little 200 watt supposed panel i think it tops out around 150 55 by mango power decent little foldable panel and it does have a little xt60 connector which of course which plugs right into the back of the echo flow battery now these are for the extra batteries and we do have this outside it's kind of windy today so sorry about the chimes but it looks like right now I'm getting about 120 watts. And of course it says it'll be ready to go in four hours for 100% capacity. I have seen this up to about 155, just depending on the actual sunlight. So no problems there. I'm sure if I had a bigger panel, bigger setup, we would get more wattage out of it because I think it's just laughing at 150 watts. Okay, so we got the battery on. We're gonna plug in the table saw and the miter saw and see if we can overload or just if it's just gonna work. So go ahead and plug yours in. Power's not on just yet. Yeah. Okay, push the white button. All right, now that means the power came on. Yep, we got our light on. Now, let's do... Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. On three. One, two, three. I think we overloaded it. Yep, we overloaded it. Okay, What's so let's, <laughs> it's too much at one time. Now let's see if you can turn yours on, then I can turn mine on. Okay, so turn yours on. because we're overloading it so it doesn't like both run at the same time so you can't run both but it should just be able to run one let's just see if it runs just mine hold up let's see if it just runs this one All right, so I think it's due to, that one has a soft start on it. This one doesn't. So this one's surging it too much. And so it doesn't run both at the same time. So it still runs them though, just don't at the same time. Okay, for the dual voltage hub, you gotta put it, make sure it's plugged in all the way. You got it, OG? It's gotta click. There, it clicked. Yes, sir. And then plug the other side. And the other battery. You got enough room? Did it click? It's a little tough. So the hub has two plugs here. Now they they are the little different prongs because they're 250 volt 20 amp plugs but we're going to be using this 30 amp 250 volt plug here which is going to bring both of the split phases into make the 240 30 amp for the house none of this is on right now so so make sure it's in there and you turn it and it shouldn't come out you see it's going to come out you turn it to the right and then it locks. 
We're going to lock out the generator just to make sure that we don't need it firing up at the same time. We never know what actually might happen. So let's hit the red button. That turns it off auto. And then let's hit the breaker. Pull the breaker down, buddy. And that kicks it out and protects it and makes sure we're totally out. So we're plugged into the back feed up here. And we'll fire up the dual voltage hub. We got juice. So we got all the breakers kicked on. It looks like we're pulling around 600 watts off of this one and pulling around 600 watts off of this one. We have a fairly balanced between the, the split phases here. We're showing, get it right at five hours out of this off of both the batteries. So we'll go around and maybe turn a few other things on and load this down just to see what happens and make sure everything is running fine. So no worries here, it's all running just fine. The mini split is running fine and cooling off the room off of the batteries. I really wanted to see if this worked. Now, of course, my bigger 50 amp breaker, I won't be able to run this bigger unit to cool the whole house, which is understandable. So no worries. TV's working. OG's PlayStation working. Yep, all working just fine off of the batteries, lights, the whole nine. Even the little test bench is working. About to load up some open sense on it to get some goodness there. Everything is working just fine off of batteries. So everything seems to be working fine. I can see all the split phases. Of course, at the top, I have zero coming in because we're doing the back feed from that different outlet. And all, everything is working just fine. So one thing I did want to try, I did turn on the air fryer. And sure, you can see it's pulling almost 2,300 watts off of this one side. And we still got 800-ish pulling off of this. And I have turned on some TVs and various things just to see how it would all run. But for the most part, it'll run the air fryer, microwave, etc. without issue. Plugging this in. And we do get, we get 119 volts. And we're getting 60 hertz. Kind of the same deal when we were doing the dual voltage hub we had a little bit higher voltage but you know we had even had a load on it so possibly why maybe it was trying to pick up on the voltage a little bit now one thing i do want to see is make sure and yeah we're only going to get the one light because the ground what i found on this is a ground pass through so if you do charge it it will pass the ground through so be mindful of that if you are using a plug that you know joins neutral and ground together if you need that for some devices you don't want to have that being plugged in while you're also charging that with the AC power so all in all not a bad little setup if you need something with batteries and you know it allows you to still pull these and be portable and everything and move them and still use them for the house, use them for camping if you had a camper, kind of the dual use deal and still have something available, you know, in that time of emergency, but yet you can still get some use away from the house. Unlike, you know, something that was permanently installed. So there's disadvantages and advantages to both of those setups. So definitely weigh what you would like to use based on, you know, what your budget is. It's cool and stuff. Tell them, not me. It's it's cool and stuff. So I appreciate Echo Flow for sending the batteries to us for trying out. That's definitely a pretty awesome little system for doing whole home power backup when your power sucks like ours. So that's going to do it for this one. Thanks to all the YouTube members, Patreon members, and... Y'all take care. No. Nope. all buttons, and y'all take care. Nope. Click all those buttons, and y'all take care. What is it again? Um, press all the buttons, and y'all take care.